show. If you haven't seen it before, uh, we take actors. These actors have memorized scripts like they would for any play, a play they might see at the alley or at stages theater. They memorize the script, they, uh, they, they internalize it as they would any other role that they might perform. And then we invite an improviser to come up on stage who doesn't know anything about the play, much like you don't know anything about the play, because the death of American theater is all about faults. <laughs> <laughs> so the lights come back up. Magical lying out! No. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. The train was running behind. I got here as quick as I could. Thank you. Great. <laughs> Sound like my mother when you use my full name. I look my age, Gray. I'm not ashamed about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I mean, just because I'm a little younger, you're a little older, doesn't mean this won't work out. Fuck off with your pleasantries. <laughs> <laughs> you complain when I'm a bitch, and, and you complain when I'm nice. I mean, I can never win with you. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fine. I'll just finish where we left off yesterday. I said... <laughs> win <off>. that. <laughs> you don't want to make it anymore. You, you don't want to make a one-person sweater. I well, you didn't give me very much choice, did you? <laughs> I'm teaching you how to sew. I know you don't know how. Get on with it! <laughs> I don't want to talk about just continue myself. You summoned me here, I came. I'm not making you stay. You can leave. The door is wide open. You want me to do something? Yeah, I want you to do a lot. I'm here. It's not enough, you know, I need more of a commitment from you, you know. Especially if we're going to be in this for the long haul. Good Christ! Is that, is <laughs> it, is, is it really too much to ask? Dorian, last time I helped you with a case like that was over 20 years ago. <laughs> and I wouldn't ask you for anything like this again, you know. Especially after knowing what happened 20 years ago. But this is like circumstances that are on, you know, the world has changed. It definitely has. I mean, things are a lot different than what 20 years ago. <laughs> forensic science has changed. I, mean, I know there's been a lot of advances in this forensic science. But there's such a thing as DNA now. It's what, it's what we call blood. <laughs> You probably don't understand yet. But forensic science, you know, has really changed. Christ, you say it easy enough. I'm a learned fella. <laughs> I went to college. Old Mayberry Brook, you. <laughs> Let's see you try it. I'm really good at sewing, you know? I swear. You're proud of your life. Well, yeah, with the Mayberry Brook <laughs> Not how many people get accepted and actually finish with a bachelor's degree. <laughs> Were you jealous? <laughs> of me? I think you're jealous about it. I mean, look at you. You're you're a homeowner. <laughs> Last time, <coughs> you said I'd never have to do such a case again. No. That makes you a liar. I'm not a better man for the job, though. As well as a blackmailer. I have both of those things. As well as a murderer. <laughs> I would have to disagree with that. <laughs> Just because my bigger friends were on the, the scene doesn't mean that I actually murdered him yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with it then. <laughs> I 
still need your measurements. It we're, ah. we're well going to fit into this. It's going to take all day if we keep doing it piecemeal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get my yards. <laughs> Hollywood. One more time. Basil Hollywood, a friend. Yeah. What about him? I'm not doing this, not to Basil. But Basil's an imbecile. <laughs> you see, he doesn't. He doesn't deserve to run the bakery anymore. <laughs> we were boys, Dorian. We were, 20 years ago. <laughs> now we're men who we make decisions. And sometimes those decisions you know, aren't necessarily good. But you know. You were following us. What are you talking about? Spying on us? <laughs> <laughs> With a bloody camera? <laughs> what camera? What <laughs> 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 camera? <laughs> okay, fine. I was spying on you. All right, but. I hadn't spoken to you in so long, I didn't know how to approach you, okay? I need to find out what your schedule was like, when would be a good time to find out to me down the road. <laughs> you cunt. <laughs> Look, I deserve that, Jeffrey. I deserve it. And I'll take it, too. That's because I love you. The reason Basil and I were It was because of you. He said that if he couldn't have you, he'd take the next best thing with someone close to you. It's all real new information to me. I had no idea Basil was even like into me or you know, <laughs> knew anything about me, really. I knew him as a boy, when we were boys, when we were all just boys. So. Too bad I'm taller. Don't look at me that way, okay? You don't want to do this, I've already said the door is wide open, alright? No, I can look for someone with your measurements on Craigslist. <laughs> I swear, if you walk out that door, maybe another 20 years I'll come looking for you again. Or maybe not. Maybe I don't ever see you again. 